Good morning from Schmidt House. We've got screaming, crying kids around here and uh, trying to get fired up this morning. But we're going to be making some salsa. We're going to be canning some salsa this morning. I've never canned it. We, we do make salsa from time to time, uh, just a couple of quarts at a time, and we just uh, make it in a blender, blend it together, and put it in the refrigerator. And, never last more than two weeks anyway and we eat it but we're gonna make some try to make some to, to preserve the can uh, and uh, we'll kind of show you as we go got tomatoes and uh, jalapenos here in the water just gonna wash them off real good clean clean them all up uh, the stems off of them uh, got the oven preheating 425 degrees we're going to put them on that tray and roast them, roast these tomatoes, peppers, and a couple of large garlic cloves, and that'll be the first step. Putting everything in the oven with two garlic cloves. And I don't know exactly how long it's going to take to roast them, I just put them in there and eyeball it but I'm guessing 30 minutes or so okay we have a saucepan here with about a third of a cup of chopped onion I believe a half a cup of white vinegar a teaspoon of salt and two tablespoons of lime juice when the when the uh Tomatoes and jalapenos are roasted. We'll core them, peel them, chop them up, dice them, put them in with this, and let them simmer a few minutes before uh, putting them in the jars. So after 45 minutes in the oven, I took them out. They really didn't really didn't char like I was hoping they would, but they're starting to kind of shrivel up to nothing. So figured I'd take them out. Uh, we'll have to let them cool down so we can peel them, core them, and cut them up, and uh, throw them in our in our little brine mixture. Let them simmer a little bit, and we'll jar them up. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to take some jars and put them in the oven and let them, let them sterilize. Chopped up the jalapenos and added them to the to the brine uh, starting to peel the tomatoes and they're just really kind of falling apart so I'm not sure how chunky the sauce is going to end up it may be kind of kind of a more of a sauce um, I don't know that the tomatoes are very ripe or homegrown uh, for chunky salsa you may may work better for tomatoes that aren't quite as ripe and they're a little more firm they might stay together a little better so we got our tomatoes chopped up added to our our brine got everything mixed together and we're gonna heat that up I, I'm not sure it's even necessary to really heat this since we've already roasted the tomatoes and then we're gonna have them in the water bath for 15 minutes but we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, heat it up bring it to a boil just to get everything to blend together I guess and, Starting to starting to bubble a little bit. We've got our water bath canner, or just a tamale pot. Got it on. Waiting for it to heat up. And I forgot to add the cilantro, so I chopped up not much. I don't like a whole lot in there. Uh, probably less than a quarter of a cup, maybe an eighth of a cup, chopped up. I uh, added maybe a teaspoon of cumin and a couple of teaspoons of oregano, Mexican oregano. We're going to let that simmer, get to a simmer. And that should be good about the time that the, the canner is boiling. We have everything jarred up. We have this one that's not even half full. 
we're just going to put that in the refrigerator and I'll use that in the next day or two. But we'll have five of these half pint jars that we we can and we're going to see how it, how it works, how it turns out. Put some, make some chili or something with it and see what I need to do to tweak the recipe for the next batch. Labeled and put up. <laughs>